we sin. Nobody sins out of duty, right? Nobody gets up in the morning and says, got an obligation, I got to sin some today. We sin out of pleasure seeking. And the only reason we opt for a sinful action is because the devil and our own nature has promised us that action will produce pleasure, satisfaction, fame, whatever, you, whatever your idol happens to be, it will succeed. The only way the power of sin can be broken is by the presence and the promise of a superior pleasure. Yes, I know there is a willpower path to holiness, but to the degree that it succeeds, it fails. Because with every sin that you conquer by willpower, self-righteousness come in and take its place. Willpower conquering of sin is not a conquering of sin. It's an exaltation of self. There is one way to conquer the promises of the pleasures of sin, and that is with the power of a superior pleasure, and his name is Jesus. Christian ethics is not a, about negation mainly. Don't sin, don't sin, don't sin. That's a good start, but it is be holy, be righteous, be good, be loving towards your enemies, be willing to lay down your life for your enemies. Make Jesus shine in the valuing of him that is so strong, you can lay down your life for others. There is one means for how I get right with God on that basis. And there is one means for killing sin and loving people. And those two means are the same. Namely, receiving and enjoying Jesus as our all-satisfying treasure.